That one. Oh, there's a striper. Oh gosh, I got a striper on the top water plug, man. Oh, I got two while I'm dead. First customer coming on in. I've never seen anything like it. Look at this crazy. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are going to have some fun this morning with LFD. We are up early. We are out on the lake, and fish are schooling all around us. What else can you ask for? And today's action is brought to you by our friends at Mystery Tackle Box. It is the hot summer months and fishing conditions are changing all and Mystery Tackle Box has you covered every month with changing conditions. They're selecting the best lures for that time of year. And not only that, they are selecting some new things that you probably haven't seen before that are gonna help you get on some new type of fishing patterns. If you are getting into fishing for the first time, maybe getting back into fishing and you haven't done it in a while, Mystery Tackle Box is the perfect gift to give yourself or someone that is in that situation because it is bringing you into the forefront of the newest lures that are coming out and keeping up with all of the new fishing patterns and the tips. They, they are also supplying you with how to fish these lures that are in these boxes. Not only is it the new lures, the information, it is also the value. So the whole reason Mystery Tackle Box works is that they are taking a bunch of different lures from a bunch of different companies. They are combining it so they are saving you money and just the hassle of going out and selecting these lures. And it's just an easy way to get a bunch of different types of lures for different patterns all in one spot and save you money and you don't even have to leave your house. And Mystery Tackle Box has a fantastic website that is going to help you select the best box for you or the person that you're shopping for. They have all different levels. They have you know, the pro box, they have the elite box, they have their general boxes, then they have the multi-species boxes. They have something for every type of dangler. So go ahead, get signed up for your Mystery Tackle Box today and MTB is hooking you guys up, giving me a discount code $10 off for all of the fishing freaks out there for your first mystery tackle box. The link is in the description. All right, you guys, go feed your tackle appetites with the mysteries inside of the mystery tackle box. Thank you, MTV, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go smash some big fish. So we're actually out on uh, Lake Texoma up here today. My dad has been asking me to get on some striped bass for a while now and I just so happened to be out here yesterday practicing for a little derby coming up here in another month and uh, I ended up finding a bunch of stripers yesterday a bunch of white bass that are up on this flat and these white bass are going crazy right now and uh, the hope is that the big stripers are gonna come up soon but we're gonna strap on a GoPro and start casting guys let the games begin start off with a little recon just yeah, throw that one back. I mean, that's a that's technically a keeper out here, but that's a little baby. What's nice about the striper, you know, as far as filleting goes, you get a little more thickness on the fillets, so you can bake them or do something else with them. Overcast, rainy conditions. Good for the stripies. You got a striper? Yep, you do. The first striper. It's not a big one. No. No? Yeah, he is striper. Definitely want to keep the pliers handy today. Yeah. Just getting a little warm up here. Man, that lightning is scary. I don't like it. Okay, we're going to pick up the dinner plate here. Oh, 
Oh gosh. Smashed on the spoon. Love the way they hit that thing. Oh. Striper. Little guy. Little boy. See you later. You can see the activity. They're on the move. Oh gosh. Oh, these are magnum white bass. Jeez. That is a magnum. Those are fun. The old little birds coming out here. Give them a look. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on, big mama. Little striper. Like the spoon. It's going to get wet. Look at that guy. Look at him. Just plop down. On the, he got him a white bass. You see that? He's got him a white bass. <laughs> That's cool. I've never seen that. There's a little striper. Just waiting to hear those big splashes. Those cannonball drops. Yeah, I've seen a couple but the big school has not come in just yet. Oh, there's one. That's a striper. That one? Yep. Gotta be. Ah. They tattooed it, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot, he got off. There was another one with him. Yeah, what in the world? Yeah. Throwing them in the cooler. Fish fry. Fish fry happening. Look how fast the fish are moving. Like we're we're blowing towards that point and you know they keep pushing. Oh my god. The size of the gar that just came up was half as long as this boat. There's a huge alligator gar in here. Oh, there we go. I'm hooked up. It felt heavy at first. It's a magnum white bass. Look at the size of this guy. That's a beast from the east right there. That could be a PB. <laughs> it's huge. That could be. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's a magnum. Look at that. Mm. Trying to throw this recon in the schools of striper just to get below them and get a bigger fish, but I, I just don't think there's many big ones right here. We're just getting poured on. The fish are still schooling at the surface like it's their birthday party. Gosh. I'm getting them on that crank bait. Crank bait. Oh, that's a good one here now. Ah. Oh, it's a good striper. Oh, oh yeah. Recon. Let's see if we can oh, that guy there. There we go. Nice. Stripies. Well, we can keep a couple over this. So throw him in there. It's a nice, juicy one. Uh, we are in the juicies right here now. This is the juicies. I'm throwing a saltwater.
her spook trying to get a big old striper to waylay on it. That one. Oh, there's a striper. Oh, gosh, I got a striper on the top water plug, man. Oh, I got two on one, Dad. Dad, I have two. I'm serious. I have two. Look at this. Oh, my, my other one came off. I had two stripers on. Woo-hoo, on top water. Oh, my gosh. I got a big boy. Big boy! Oh, he come off. Dead gun. That was a slurper there. I had two on for a second, y'all. Woo! Oh, I got another one on it. Oh, dude! Oh, I got I got stripers on the top water. This is awesome. Woo! <laughs> Baby! Hootenanny! That right there is fun times, y'all. Holy moly. I don't even know if I can boat flip this guy. I'm afraid I'm going to break my lure. There we go. Yeah, I saw that. You're over there catching them white bass, man. You need to get on the striper program. Woo! Look at that one. He's over 20. I'm going to let him go. Look at that. Bent my hooks out. I had, I had a big one on and then an even bigger one ate it. Oh, where do those where do those go? I want more of that. Holy cow, that was fun. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, throwing that spoon, daddy. Hey yeah. Stubborn little butter biscuit. Oh yeah, the giants are so big. <laughs> Huge. Oh, there's another one. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Rip it. Yeah. I told you there's strippers in this school. Oh man. <laughs> Woo man, that's fun times. Oh my gosh. Got him in the eyeball. I'm scared of what he'll he'll do the net. I kinda need the net. I got it. All right. Ooh, that's a big one. The one I had on just before then was even bigger. Well, I just had a 28 inch striper miss my plug a second ago. That was scary. Oh my gosh! That's not even a big one. They're coming up. Oh, that's a white bass. Oh my god. They're just all mixed in now. We're, we're sitting out here in the rain. We're getting drenched. But this is probably the best topwater bite I, I've ever been on. One of the best for sure. Just that right there. If it ain't a striper, it's a giant white bass. Probably live on the front of this boat right now in all the water. Oh, my God. oh there's a striper. Holy. This is the size that scares me. Whew. Okay. The big spoon works too. It's just right now they're so they're so up top. Oh gosh, striper. Yeah, they're coming up on this too. This is fun. 
Oh my gosh. Lord help me. Lord help me. It's so much fun. Oh mercy. Woo! We're the only ones out here. <laughs> oh, I got him by the tail. I think that's a white bass. Man. Shivering. Shivering with cold and excitement. Oh, goodness. Woo, man, that was a big splash right there. There's some stripers in this little wad. Come on. Oh my god, there's stripe. <laughs> Pull the drag. Oh. Yeah, buddy. That is fun times. Fun times. Oh. You can just tell by the splashes out there when you're in the stripers. Gotcha. Daddy's gotcha. Alright, uh, this one's probably going to be over the mark as well. Yeah, I'll throw them back. Nice fish though. Oh man, that's fun. Oh my god, I just had a big one. Oh my god, I just had a big one. Another one, got it. Oh yeah, pull and drag. Oh my gosh, it's fun. Whoa. They're all about the same. Oh, that was a big splash. Look at them right there, Dad. Oh, those are stripers ahead of us. Right here. That's gonna get annihilated. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a big one. <laughs> oh, get in there. What are you doing? Oh, these are all stripies. I got a big one. You better get one on that cast. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. This one's big. Gosh, look at that, dude. He'll be a good eater. Oh, yeah, boys and girls. That is a big one. Right there. Holy cow. Right. I'm going to idle. See if I can find him. Oh, 
are still on top. Still working. Oh, I got I just had a striper on mine, a big one. Look at that. Ended up catching a little one, but just keep working it. You know, if you miss one, just keep working it. Yeah, you can't can't jerk it away. There it goes. There you go. Good job. Oh my gosh, I just got pounded too. <laughs> That's a white bass. That's a white bass you got on, dude. I, <laughs> I got a striper on. Oh, son. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Catching fish this size on top water is just fun. He's going for another run. There he goes. It's just that easy, Dad. It's I just know. that easy. I know. How do you weed through? How do you catch the big one? You just keep That's keep nice. working it until a big one big one strikes it, and they usually miss it the first time. Oh, there you go. Woo! I'm dying. The problem is it's just fun catching any fish. Yeah. I'm also throwing towards the bigger boils that I do see. I do think they are responding to this walking style bait though. Yeah, I do too. Like they're, <clears throat> look at these boils right here, man. Look at that, that's a striper, dad. How are you not getting sp splattered? Work it side to side. Click, 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 click. This is the most insane top water I've ever seen in my life. Like three hours of explosions. Now that's a striper. There you go. All right. There you go, Pop. Hey. Oh, man. You're getting excited in there. Maybe the stripers are in there. The big ones. Got them going. You got one? I got one. He's medium grade. Goodness, my arm is actually tired of catching fish. This is this is kind of wild. Feeding fast is happening. Feeding, feeding fast. Did you just look at it? Oh, that's a good one. Oh shoot. I have a feeling he's gonna get off. He just feels like he's got hook bending power. They are all about the same. He's over 20 though, that one is. I don't know if I can get him. Does not get old. And they are just staying up so long. Oh gosh. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at that gum snook. Oh. Man, it just 
just got heavy, like I got another one on there. Or he's hooked weird. Mm. Look at that reaction rod, just bend over. Oh my gosh. This is just fun for the whole family. That is fun for the entire family. <laughs> you can see the big splashes. Get ready for the Thunderdome. Woo! These are the stripies. Like now they're awake. Oh God, I just had one. I'm working mine kind of fast. Well, I got, I got monofilament on here. Not sure what kind of line you got. <clears throat> Big splashes in there. I mean, what? What on earth? What more could you ask for? Oh, except a big striper chasing your plug. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, got him, Bob. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, magnums. Ooh, that was striper. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he broke me. Oh. Holy tater tot. That was huge. Look, look, he's got my damn lure. Jeez. Hey, if I can catch him. Ah, I doubt it. He hit me so close, he ripped rip drag so hard, he just took me. <laughs> that was worth the trip, just that one bite right there. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Well, these aren't really striper approved, but you can squad hound is calling my name right now. Oh god. Little stripies. Ooh, man, they're going to tear these hooks up for. Goodness gracious, those things are built out of just pure protein juice. I guess it's going to start raining again. Dead gun it. I think I can honestly say this is the best. Oh my gosh, do you get that fish? Get him, Dad, get him! Woo! Oh yeah, I heard it. It made me look up. I was just trying to say this is the best striped situation. White bass, everything. I mean, they're all in here. It's the best bite I've ever been on. It's just it's lasting so long on top. This little guy. Dude. Oh, 
Oh, there's a good striper in there. Woo! Throw it right there. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Dad gonna lose that fish. Dad gonna lose it. Oh, come on now. Daddy gonna lose that fish. He's about 19. 19? Well, yep. he's a keeper. We are doing it. So I think we can keep one more over 20 and then that's it. But oh my gosh, did you see the one that just blasted the shad out here? You better get out there, buddy. They're getting aggressive. <laughs> This guy absolutely boiled on it. Got him on that hound. But now that we're out here in over 20 feet of water, there could be some megalodons lurking in the deeps. Oh, look at this big dog right here now. It's a certified toad. I got a donkey. I've got a donkey of a fish. Come on now. Oh gosh, you got bit too? Yeah. Big boy? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Made a boo boo there. There we go. The bite is slowing down right now, and obviously we're soaking wet. The camera's soaking wet. Audio probably sucks. I apologize. But we got some stripies. And the last one that I caught on the hound, we ended up with some, some good ones right here now. Certified dandies. Look at them, man. Look at them fish right there. That is just so much fun, y'all. So much fun. We've got our four big stripers. That's all we can keep out here. And we got a few few unders. We got white bass and stuff like that. We got plenty of meat. It is 11:30, Dad. That's the longest topwater session I've ever had. Like fish coming up, staying on top, and we smashed them for three hours and caught well over 100 fish. I think. Go ahead and smash them. That's fun times right there. What do you think? Absolutely the best topwater bite I've ever seen. I caught the biggest striper I've ever caught. I caught the biggest sand bass I've ever caught, white bass. They were two pounds. Oh yeah. Two pound white bass, just Monsters. one right after the other. I caught them till my arms got tired. <laughs> so yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, we got tons of water in the boat. And what we're fishing out here is just a giant flat off the main river channel. I actually came out here looking for bass uh, on brush piles and ended up uh, just lucking across some some stripers yesterday and i thought well we might be able to get into a few and we got into a lot i mean everything striped it was amazing i mean i'm soaking wet y'all this is the this is the wettest i've ever been out in a bass boat i got the chills but it was all worth it amazing top water bite bye bye lake you were good to us today well y'all there's not much you can say about today except it was just amazing it was awesome but i'm gonna add a few things here it ended up being a top water session today from heaven and, and the reason why is um, bass and especially stripers they're crepuscular feeders especially this time of year it's summer months and i expected to catch them in the low light hours uh, especially with that overcast. I was, I was really excited to get up there early with the overcast, but since it was raining, it just brought them up to the top for three and a half hours of nonstop top water fun. 
You guys didn't even see half the fish that we caught on camera, and I apologize if the, the footage was so terrible. The audio is probably terrible too. Walking baits were key, and uh, I ended up breaking off. I was throwing, I was throwing a spook, a saltwater spook. It's a big one. Um, we don't make. Uh, at Guggen Squad a big um, big walking bait yet. I actually ended up catching the biggest fish on this, but actually broke my hook, broke the front hook off. But just bone color, they seem to really love that. But that walking side to side, that was the key. My dad was throwing a blooper. He was catching a lot of white bass, you know, uh, getting the occasional little striper bite, but to catch those big stripers, he needed to throw um, a walking topwater bait. They wanted that bait walked side to side. And if y'all want to get more action out of your topwater baits, try working them with slack in your line. And, and you can do that uh, better with braid. Braid is super responsive. Mono, which, I'm, which I was throwing today, 15 pound uh, GS Mono, it has more memory in it. So you're gonna, you're gonna have a little bit more uh, rebound um, and your bait's gonna always kind of be catching up with uh, uh, your, your, uh, your line. It's kind of like a coiling effect. So with braid, you can really snap that thing back and forth. The only problem with braid is sometimes you get it tangled. Using that Hound, got a ton of bites on that. And then throwing the deep diving crankbait like the Recon. Uh, you know, just, just getting this below the white bass uh, was working pretty good as well. And I was gonna throw this right here. I was gonna throw the dart on a half ounce jig head, but there was just no need to do it, guys. The, the fish never went down. So summertime, I am always equipped with some sort of spoon and or top water. This is for bass, but I, I always keep them handy too in case a big school of white bass or, or stripers pop up. Uh, just so you can get them on, get on them really quick. Sometimes it can be some of the, the best five minutes of fishing, uh, biggest, funnest explosions, bites uh, all year is, is when those those big schools of stripers come up. And, and bass will do that in the summertime as well. So always keep you a, a spoon to cover your, your bottom schoolers and a walking topwater bait for, for the still hot summer days when you're trying to draw bass up. So thank you guys for tuning in to an awesome fishing video today. Uh, thank you MTB for sponsoring today's video and uh, God bless guys. Go ahead and smash that like button for Father Son Greatness. I'll see you all next week.